I spent $369 on running shoes. So I have a goal of running 10 miles in three months. I got Hoga's Bondi 8 thanks to Renee, but here's my problem. Blisters, disgusting bubble blisters. Halfway into my run, I've had to stop numerous times. I didn't know if it was my socks or the shoes, so... Today I said enough is enough and I went to a shoe fitting place to consult with a specialist and customize everything. Q gave me synthetic socks. Cotton was the problem with my blisters. We first did a foot scan and Q emailed it to me and this is what my feet look like in case you're wondering. <laughs> he then measured my gait. Basically, I have super hot arches, but my Achilles are healthy, which is good. He then molded these running insoles based off my foot to support my arches and he gave me a bunch of other shoes to try on because I have narrow feet. Fun fact, if you have shin splints, it's simply because your arches aren't supported. So I'm a size 8 in regular shoes, but it turns out I'm a size 10 in running ones. And this is me doing a runner's knot so that my heel doesn't slip in shoes. Basically, I walked out of the store with two custom insoles, one for running, one for everyday life, and my new Asics Nimbus 25. This is why 